So this video, uh, we're going to look at working out the mean, median, mode and range from frequency tables, but this time with group data. So if you haven't already, watch the similar video, but for working out from frequency tables without group data. So first of all, the, what group data is, it means that instead of having specific values, so in this case, specific ages, we're doing brackets of ages, groups of ages. So this table tells us we've got one person in the age group 10 to 20, five people in the age group 20 to 30, eight people in the age group 30 to 40, etc. So to work out the mean in this case, we can only do an estimate because we don't know where within those brackets those people fall. So to do our estimate, what we will do initially is add in an extra column for midpoint. So we'll work out the midpoint of each of these age brackets. So for 10 to 20, the midpoint will be 15. For 20 to 30, it'll be 25. If you're not sure how to work out the midpoint, if you can't see it straight away, um, the fail proof way of doing it is to add up the lowest and the highest value of the bracket, the 10 and the 20, for example, which gives you 30, and then divide it by 2, and that will give you 15. And then we're going to add another, another column onto the end. So with group data, it's useful to have two extra columns on the end, the midpoint and then the midpoint times the frequency. So what we do, similar to with the ungrouped data, we multiply the midpoint here by the frequency. So 15 times 1 is 15. The second one, 25 times 5 is 125. We do that for all the rows and then we add up the totals at the bottom. So we've got 955 as all the ages or estimated ages added together and for 25 people. So to work out the estimated mean here, we do 955 divided by 25, which gives us 38.2 years. And again, think, does that answer seem sensible? Yes, it does, because it's roughly within the middle of the data. So instead of working out the mode, we'll work out a modal group here. Again, because we don't know what actual, what the actual value would be. So we look down the frequency column. Eight is the largest number here. So a modal group is 30 to 40 age group. And the median, we work this out in a similar way as to before. We'll do a running total going down. Um, we are looking for the 13th person this time, as we've got 25 people. So if we do our running total, we say from age 10 to 20, there's one person. From age 10 to 30, there's one plus five, which makes six people. And then adding on the next age bracket, um, 30 to 40, that takes us up to 1 plus 5 plus 8, which makes 14. So we know that that 13th person must have appeared in that 30 to 40 age group. So the median will be somewhere in that age group. We don't know where, but we know it's in that group. Finally, the range here. You may be asked to find the largest possible range and the least possible range. So if, first of all, we look at the largest possible range, we'll imagine that the, the youngest person could be 10 and the oldest person could be 60. So in which case, the range would be 60 take away 10, which is 50. But also, if the youngest person was at the top of that 10 to 20 age bracket and were 20, and the oldest person was at the bottom of the 50 to 60 age bracket and was 50, the least possible range could then be 50 take away 20, which is 30.